Hey everyone, it's Dan here and I'm super pumped for today's video because I just received my American Express Hilton Honors business card in the mail. And so I wanna do this quick unenveloping for you guys to show you what this card looks like and also what comes in the envelope as well. But before we get into that, I'm sure you notice there are two envelopes. There's one here on the left and also one here on the right. So what's the deal with these two envelopes? Well, I did apply for this card uh, twice because I got denied uh, the first time and the second time I also got denied as well. Luckily, I was able to turn that second denial into an approval through the reconsideration line, uh, but the first denial went through and that's the letter on the, the left side over there. Definitely check out my Watch Me Apply video. I'll leave it up top on the right here so you can check that out if you're interested. So the first thing we're gonna cover this left envelope here, which is the denial letter. Now, of course, uh, for full disclosure, I did open all these envelopes already to make sure I've locked out some personal information. In the uh, case of this envelope here, I did tear off the top of this letter just because it had a lot, bunch of stuff on it. But here we go, let's take a look at this denial letter. It says, thank you for applying for the Hilton Honors American Express business card. We value your membership and appreciate your interest in another American Express card. Unfortunately, we cannot approve your application at this time. According to our records, you currently have the maximum number and type of American Express card accounts that we allow. And that's interesting because it's kind of a generic letter. Uh, what's really important to know is that when you have American Express accounts, especially credit card accounts, you can have between four and five of them or actually six sometimes. Uh, there's actually some data points that people have six credit cards in American Express, but for the most part, four or five is generally the most number that you can have. And for myself, I had five American Express credit cards. And so after applying for that sixth one, I got automatically denied. Uh, but that was fine because I was able to turn that down to an approval by canceling one of my existing American Express cards. So let's go ahead and go and take a look at the Hilton Honors business card here. And this is the envelope that comes in. Nothing fancy, no box or anything. It does have a nice blue seal here that says, don't do business without it, which is a great catchphrase. So let's go ahead and take this out of the envelope. You can see this is the top portion here. It says American Express. And let's go ahead and take a look at this card in three, two, one, and here it is. So that's a really nice looking card. Again, let's take it out of the uh, plastic here, out of the, the paper here. And it it's a really nice blue. It looks a lot like its siblings, like the Hilton Honors Regular, the Hilton Honors Surpass, and the Aspire. I think it's a little bit uh, like the Surpass uh, for the most part. Uh, what's interesting about this card, and you can probably already tell by all the tape I had to put over it, is that this card is an embossed card, which means that there's actually uh, numbers that are raised up out of the card that actually stick out and uh, kind of uh, make this unboxing experience a little uh, less fun because I have to cover a lot of the personal information both uh, only on the front of the card but also on the back of the card as well. And so that's kind of the unfortunate part of having an embossed card is that really we can't show a lot of the card um, you know, in this unboxing. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually flip over to a picture of this card and use the magic of photo editing to kind of go over in much more detail what's on the front of this card as well as on the back of the card. Okay, so here's a better view of the American Express Hilton Honors business card. You can see that it has got a pretty nice design on it, kind of similar to the Surpass card. And you can see that they have that contactless chip symbol there on the right side, as well as the American Express logo on the bottom right. Uh, it does show you the embossed numbers uh, there in the middle that I've blocked off, as well as where it says uh, the expiration date, which is valid through, as well as your Hilton Honors number, which is there in the center uh, of the card as well. You can see that the member since number is also uh, showing there in embossed fashion, as well as the uh, name of the card and the business name, which would be on the bottom left. And if you turn the card over, here's what it looks like on the back side. You can see the medic strips here on the top of the card, as well as the uh, numbers and three digit security code here on the white strip. Uh, you can see that I had to cover up a few more parts of the card because the embossed numbers do jut out from the front, so it does kind of mirror in the back, so I had to cover those up as well. Uh, but you can see that this is what the back of the card looks like too, so that's there for your enjoyment as well. Okay, so that was the American Express card there, so I hope you got uh, some information about what the card looks like and where everything is located on this card. Pretty typical plastic card here. Again, it's not a metal card by any means, but it's just a simple, no frills uh, American Express card uh, that uh, is pretty, looks pretty nice in my opinion. It's got some nice colors to it, and so I'm pretty happy with the way it looks. So I'm gonna put this back into its uh, paper here and kind of move this off to the side. Uh, I do want to go ahead and check out the next part of this, which is going to be the card member agreement, which is part one of two. And you can see here that there's a Hilton Honors business card and gave they gave me a credit limit of $7,000. 
Um, this uh, limit is actually something that I'm capped at. I actually have uh, been notified that I've been capped in terms of a credit limit. So when I closed my uh, previous card, which is the American Express Blue Business Plus card, it had $7,000 on it at that time. And so I just got the new card with the same amount of credit limit after that. And so that's uh, what that shows. You can see that the APR is kind of getting high these days, 23.49% as well as a 28.99% APR for cash advances. You have a $95 annual fee. And so uh, that's something to also keep in mind as well. The next part of this is also I want to take a look at is the supplement to the card member agreement. It actually shows you how your card actually works. You can see you receive three Hilton Honors bonus points uh, after uh, you spend any kind of money on the card, but you also receive a nine additional bonus points uh, up to a total of 12 uh, when you spend it on Hilton uh, purchases, as well as three additional points for a total of six when you uh, spend it on airfare, uh, spend it on major car rental companies, restaurants, gas, shipping services, and on monthly wireless telephone services as well. And so that's kind of what the card multipliers are. So that's uh, also good to know. And then this is also the other things in the mail. We've got the uh, privacy notice, which is uh, fun to read on your own spare time, as well as the summary of additional benefits, and also the card member agreement, which is right here, uh, part two of two. So yeah, that's the American Express Hilton Honors business card. Again, I'm super excited to start using this card and getting to work in that sign-up bonus. Again, I got the sign-up bonus for this card uh, last December, and it was an elevated sign-up bonus, so I can get uh, 130,000 points in $5,000 in spend, as well as a free net reward at $10,000 in spend, and I'll also try to get that $15,000 spend to get that other free net reward that's standard on this card. And so if you want to know more about why I got this card and the overall uh, strategy I have for it for this year, definitely check the video out on the, put on the end screen here. Uh, but otherwise, thanks so much for stopping by. I uh, hope you enjoyed this unboxing video, and I will see you guys in the next one.